Hi friends, and welcome back to Lollyby Bridge. <laughs> Today, we're gonna make cookies that look like acorns. <gasps> oh, gosh. I hope we don't get chased by squirrels. so excited to share this kitchen project with you today. I mean, just look how cute these cookies are. Wow, they look like they just came off an acorn tree. I'm surprised we don't have squirrels running through the kitchen. <laughs> All right, so as always, there are a few things that we need to do before we start any project in the kitchen. Do you remember what the very first rule is? Yeah, make sure to ask your grown-up before you start any project in the kitchen. Because one, today we're gonna use a knife and so you're gonna need some help. And two, it can get kind of messy so we wanna make sure that we have permission. Yeah, oh hey, and don't forget to ask your grown-up to follow us on Facebook or Instagram at Lollyby Bridge. So if you decide to make acorn cookies, they can snap a picture, tag us, and post it on Facebook or Instagram so that I can follow your baking journey. I would really love to see how you make these cookies into your own. Okay, so now that the grown-ups are on board, let's see, what do we have to do next? Yeah, let's put on our aprons to protect our clothes. Still my favorite part. <laughs> okay, so now that our clothes are protected, let's go scrub those hands with warm water and soap so that we don't contaminate any of our food. All right, so our hands are nice and clean. So before we start this project, there's a little bit of prep work that we need to do before we can start decorating our acorns. Yeah. So the first thing we need to do is we need to cut our cookies into half so they look like little acorns. So this is where the knife comes in. So I want you to have your grown-up help you cut these cookies in half because I would hate for you to get hurt by using the knife in the kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just cut them in half. are cut into half. So we're gonna just move those aside. By cutting our cookies in half, not only do they look like little tiny acorns, <laughs> but then we get two acorn cookies out of every cookie. I like that kind of math, huh? Yeah, okay. So next, once our cookies are cut into half, we are going to take our pretzels and we're gonna cut these into little tiny stems. And sometimes these will break. Look, you can see how this one kind of broke. That's okay, we'll just set it aside. We won't use that one. So just like people, acorns don't all look exactly the same. So it's okay if your cookies or your pretzels for the stems don't look identical. I mean, what fun would that be if we all look exactly the same, right? <laughs> well, that one went flying onto the floor. So we'll go ahead and let Cloud get that one. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We have our cookies are cut in half. We have our pretzels cut for our stems. Now we need to melt our chocolate. So let's head over to the microwave and get that melted up.
So our candy melts are nice and runny. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so we have everything that we need to make our cookies look like acorns. Hey, why don't you come over here and we can decorate these together? Yeah. All right, let's make some acorn cookies. First, let's take one half of our cookie and we are gonna dip it right into the melted chocolate. Make sure to just cover the top and then scrape off the extra. There you go. It looks like a little cap. Now we'll take our sprinkles and dip them in. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> Look at that. So now let's put on our stem. We'll dip it in chocolate. Boop, boop. And we're gonna stick it right on top. It's that easy to make an acorn cookie. Oh, let's do another one. Oh, I think we should. Okay, so let's grab another half a cookie and again, just dip the top of it into the chocolate. And grab your sprinkle of choice. We'll use chocolate this time. Boop, boop. Okay. Oh, it kind of looks like fur, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's take our pretzel stick. Once again, dip it in the chocolate. And we have a stem. And my hands are messy. <laughs> Oh well, look how cute that is. <laughs> oh, friends, aren't these so adorable? I just love them, they're so cute. And they taste delicious, which is even better. I have one more to do. So while I finish this up, why don't we take a look at the ingredients we use to make this recipe? Nutter butter cookies. Candy melts, and this time we're using chocolate. Pretzel sticks. Lots of sprinkles. And now let's look at the tools we need to make these cute little acorn cookies. A cutting board, a knife. Now this is where you're really gonna need your grown-ups help using the knife. A mixing bowl, and a spatula. Oh, don't forget the parchment paper. friends, that is the end of this kitchen project. But gosh, I hope you come back and do some more with me. Yeah, I've had re a really good time. <laughs> hey, don't forget, if you're gonna make acorn cookies, have your grown-up snap a picture and post it on Instagram or Facebook. <laughs> and tag us at Lollaby Bridge so that I can follow along and see what your acorns look like. I think that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> All right, friends, we'll see you next time. Happy baking. <laughs>